Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. Alrighty, we have a stronghold notification. Oh yes, the distant relative has left the stronghold. If you remember last episode, we finished up in the ruins and we actually came out in Deerford Crossing on the other side of the ruins. We came back. Okay, fine. This is what I want. And obviously we, we just nipped into the apothecary. Nothing crazy going on. We did get a quest to go and find a dragon egg, which will actually be at Deerford Crossing. So we'll be going back there for that. In the meantime, we need to just go in the rest of the buildings and check stuff out. So right. let's go Let's go into the, the arms building. I can't imagine there's going to be too much going on in here. Maybe we should sell some of our crappy weapons. Might be worth it. Hail, Winfrith. A portly, smiling man stands behind a warped wooden counter, polishing a buckler. He looks up. Haven't seen you before. Always glad to see a new face in town. Company's good for... Business and chat is good for the soul. That's what I always say. Anyhow, what can I do for you? What's been going on in Deerfoot? Oh, we're a quiet little town. Not much happens here. Especially not since the legacy hit. People realise that they couldn't have babies and just stopped trying altogether. And that takes a lot of ex excitement out of the day to day, if you can believe it. Alright. <laughs> Show me what you've got for sale. Right, where are we? Shall we? Yeah. I mean, if it's not... Do I want to keep these in case? Not really. Not really, to be honest. Anything that's not fine, and even then... I mean, look at all this crap. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Not that it really matters. You can have those. Uh... Do we even we don't I don't think we even need these basic shields to be honest. We don't need any of this crap. And like I say, I don't even think we need most of the fine stuff. But just to make it easier for me right now, let's just just sell all the stuff that's not uh, not fine. Uh hmm. How do we feel about this? I mean we've got so much of it. I don't really want to... Because we don't need money. Because we don't need money, I'm not going to sell it. We could probably get a decent weapon, you know? Or two. But I kind of like finding weapons. And I don't like buying them. It feels bad. So we're not going to do that. We'll take your 2,500. And we'll call it a day. So we've got the mill to go into. Oh, unless the mill is the farm. No, it can't be. I'm thinking about the... Um, the what's it? The parable of whale. It's definitely whale or whatever, but we're still sticking with whale. Uh, the parable of whale we still haven't got. An abandoned farm on the path to Deerford. There's only a temple. There's no abandoned God, farm. Is your fox bite? It must be Wood End Plains. It must be. We're going to go back there. I'm furious. Yes. Anyway. Can I pet him anyway? It's your hand. I'm going to pet him. <laughs> All right. Everyone calm down. So do we want to, should we just go into the mill? Let's go into the mill first. We'll go into the inn last. We'll just, okay, I don't really want to steal, so. Let's go into the mill. Sorry, we've got a whole bunch of loading screens here while we just get figured out, but that's fine. Gives me a moment to just kind of think. No, it doesn't. Okay, fine. Keeping an eye on. Okay. The mill slowly grinds away at a trow, a trough, sorry, of grave. A trowel. Have you been to Defiance Bay? I heard there's no Hollowborn there. Can't remember the last time we had a healthy birth in the village. Right, there's a lot of... We can just steal, but there's nothing else really happening. Oh, never mind. Keeping quiet. Peridot. I mean, I hope for something a little bit more exciting. Keeping quiet. No? Okay. Let's just go to the inn then. Have a chat. Confront that guy about his niece, maybe. Depending on what kind of kicks off. Go double speed. And we can also buy some uh, camping supplies. We can rest. Oh, we don't really need to rest, do we? I think... Have we even had combat since I rested? Can't remember. Oh, we have, but not exactly much. I don't think we really need to. Right, we've got villagers everywhere. We've got Sid. What do we say here? This table has been scarred and stained from decades of use. 
Okay, we've got a couple of gold plates. Aeon there. Dengler. Who's probably the barkeep. We've got Pace back here. I'm not going to steal. Heavy sweet perfumes emanate from the barrels. The stave joints are stained dark brown and dull purple. Should we have a chat with Pace? What are you doing in the kitchen? Dengler will get you sorted out with food and drink. All right, mate. Sorry. Go on then, Dengler. Let's have a... Well met, friend. The innkeeper digs inside a mug with a dirty rag. Of course he does. What a, what a classic sight that is. His eyes under his thick brows are tired but watchful. He gives you a quick nod as you approach the bar. Don't see many travellers these days. Something I can do for you? Uh, I have questions about Deerford. He runs his rag around the rim of the mug. Ask. Have you seen an Orland named ne <laughs> Nifre? He jerks his head at the stairs. Switch you, lady, that one. All right. Tell me about the village. Walk from one bridge to the next and you've seen it. We're quiet, hard-working folk. We keep to ourselves and don't take to being pushed around. He glares at the well-dressed man standing off to the side. Used to be a castle here, built by some family of Adir and Thanes back when the Empire first came. Only one tower still standing, and that's part of Trigil Shop now. Yes, we've been in there, actually. Sid, that bard by the fire, could spin you the yarn if you're so inclined. Okay, who lives in Deerford? Not many anymore. Hard to keep people around when everyone's here. everyone here is birthing Holoborn. But we got a few who stick around and do business. Trigil's the leather courier. Hendina crafts potions. And Winfrith trades in general goods. Rumbold's a pig farmer. Or was, anyway. And Winfrith? Been around even longer than I have. Nice enough fellow, but could never find his way to the end of a sentence. His shop's across the square. I feel him on that. Right. Uh, do I really want to... Do I care about any of this stuff? Not really. Yeah, yeah. Hendina's story. Clever. Yeah, no, nothing matters. Right, something happened to Rumble's pigs, I take it, since he's no longer a pig farmer. Damn ogre carried them off. Now he squeals more than his herd ever did. He shrugs. It is rotten luck. Okay, about that ogre. You don't hardly see him this close to town. Ogres and kith don't mix well. Ugly bastards, but they're smart enough to know that much. Uh, you don't. You want to know more? I'll talk to Rumbold. His farm's southwest of here. Right. So that must be the farm. I must be being dumb. So I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. You said you don't see many travellers. Of course not. Why would they come here? You get bandits on the road and an ogre in the forest. Is that yapping fool Rumbold will tell you? Worse yet, hasn't been a healthy child born here in over a year. Most kith that come here is just passing through. Right. Food and drinks. Except not food and drinks. Camping supplies. And I require two. I should really buy food and drinks. I should cook. I should do many things. But none of this is happening. We don't really need to rest. Let's chat with Sid first. Greetings. A redhead stands by the fire. Turning her lute. and Oh sorry. Tuning her lute. And plucking its strings. She hums snatches of a melody as she goes. First time at the Dracogan. Normally I'd have a song ready. But I haven't quite worked out this tune yet. I'm writing some chants about the founding of this inn. Say, you interested in the story? I haven't finished the chance, but I can tell you about it all the same. Sure, let's have it. It was built in the time of Hadrit's rebellion. Hadrit? We're going Hadrit? Hadrit? Hadrit. An Adirin lady, Thainu. What? <laughs> Fuck these words. Once had a keep here. One of the towers still stands, but the rest is said to be buried under the village. Yes, I've been there. Anyway, she stuck to the side of the Empire, and a contingent of Duke Hadrit's knights of the Crucible helped the farmers and colonists in the area turn her keep to rubble. This inn was the first building that sprang up from the ruin, built with some of the same bricks the colonists had pulled from the Lady Thanu's castle, they say. Supposedly, the quarter staff of her chief wizard even got lost in the construction, mortared into a wall or nailed under a floorboard. Anyway, the inn was supposed to be a haven and a meeting place while locals built their new town. What do you mean supposed to be? Dear Woodens are an ornery lot, and the more these new neighbours met, the more they argued. They realised they didn't agree on much beside, besides ousting the old lord. The biggest divide was over the Glamfathans and their nearby ruins. Hadrit's knights and their supporters wanted to keep the peace, but a group of misfits were more an anarchic. An 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 anarchic. That's the one. What a horrible word. More anarchic With more anarchic leanings that had formed in town wanted to go after the tribes in the same way they'd gone after their lord. Soon, the villagers were fighting with each other as much as with the Adirants. In the end, memories of the Broken Stone War and the War of the Black Trees were fresh enough that the Duke's soldiers won the day. Most of the other villagers came around eventually, but some of the core troublemakers left to join the front lines of the War of Defiance, 
and others, I've heard, found their way into the guided compass, the most forward-looking of the Glamfathom tribes. I don't know if I believe that part myself, but it makes a good story. She points to the East Wall. There's a portrait of one of the chief rabble-rousers and his rival in the peacekeeping faction. Someone's idea of a joke. I don't think they were particularly amused. I want to hear about the broken stone wall. That was the first major conflict between the original Adiran settlers and the Glamfathers. Happened three years into colonization when some farmers knocked over an Adra Menhir that was part of the Engwitham ruin. The war didn't last long, but it spread quickly and claimed thousands. In the early weeks, most of the colonists didn't even realize there was war going on until the Glamfathom raiders hit their villages. There'd been a small, spontaneous oh, sorry, there'd been small, spontaneous skirmishes between the colonists and the locals before then, but this was organized. And it was the start of decades of violence between the colonists and the Glanfathans. As you can see, Deerwood's full of history, even in little villages like this. Tell me about the War of the Black Trees. It started back in the colonial days, almost 30 years after the Broken Stone War. Even though isolated conflicts still broke out between the settlers and the Glanfathans, both sides had officially agreed to peace. Edring Hadrit, yes, that's that's the word. Edring, e Edrang, we're going Edrang. Edrang Hadrit, Admeth's father was what? What are these words, bro? It was Gref? Oh, that's not Gref, but okay. It was Gref at the time. As part of peace negotiations, he'd signed treaties prohibiting Adiran colonists from looting Anguith and ruins. However, he'd been able to uh, unable to outlaw the use of captured Glanfathans as slaves. Yes, what's a fucking Gref? A uh, Gref, it's not Gref, is the governor of a colony and is subservient to the Adiran Emperor. The early leaders of the Adia colony in the Deerwood, including Edrang and Admeth Hadrit, were, were Grefs. At the start of the War of Defiance, Admeth Hadrit declared himself Duke of an independent Deerwood rather than Gref of the Emperor's colony. It was the same term used for leaders of the newly independent Valian Republics. Anyway, we haven't had a Gref since. I see. Indeed, the taking of Glamfathan slaves had continued to be a source of conflict. It came to a head when Imperial agents, aided by certain earls in the Deerwood, began looting the ruins again. See, the Empire had never actually agreed to Hadrit's treaties on the matter, and the recent secession of the Valian Republic slightly left them eager to weaken Hadrit's position. The looting sparked a brutal slave uprising and a guerrilla campaign among the Glamfathans. Edring Hadrit was too old to lead the forces into battle, and so he sent his son Admeth. Admeth made a costly but effective decision that ended the war yes, ended the war faster than anyone could have imagined. He burned the forest near the yeah, near the river to keep the Glamfathom warbands from retreating. Thousands of Glamfathoms died, and as Admeth repeated his scorched earth tactics in the following months, he wore down the remainder of their forces. To this day, over 150 years later, there are still sections of the Deerwood where the trees are nothing but bare, charred trunks. Okay, well thanks for that history lesson. Aeorn, or Eorn. Eeyore, his name's Eeyore. Why, it's you! Thank you, friend. You've given me another chance, and I mean to make the most of it. I've been telling everyone around here about how you helped me. Listen, I'm sure we helped him? Her? It? Who? Can't remember, though. Thank you again. Alright, well, I'm... I'm Alright. <laughs> Pleased to have helped you. Alright, we've got some... Some golden plates. This scalder head looks as old as the inn. Its leathery skin is cracked and bleached from years of exposure. How's Harand guard? Lord Harand is resting upstairs. Is there now? Let's pay him a visit then. Okay. This painting portrays the expansive foothills below the mountains of White March. Who's coming up the stairs? Neil. Oh, it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see. And who's that? Who, who be that? Okay, well, we'll see. Yeah, just some just some gold plates. That's going to be the staff that was below the floorboards, isn't it? Find this interesting. The glass this window is broken. Warped, knotted planks have been nailed over it. Quiet. It is indeed the Guildmaster's staff. Crush damage, extra weapon reach, grants... Oh, three per rest, restore minor endurance. Interesting. Why can you? Why have you got an X on you? Oh, because you're full. Okay. Is that something we want to be a part of? Like, I don't really want you to have this. Why don't you have the staff? I'm sick of you having this stupid thing. Actually, it does have pierce damage. What do What do your two things have? Slash and pierce. So that's fine. Yeah. Listen, I'm a bit sick of that. But you don't. You don't have a talent for rapiers, do you? 
No. Whoopsie daisy. Let's give you that staff. And then you'll also have a little heal as well, which isn't, you know, nothing to sniff at, is it? So... Hi. No, brain. Do I need to switch weapon? And then you have that, yeah. Okay. Jolly good. Right. Sure. Where's Lord Harond? Do you want to talk to him first? Probably not. Probably not. Let's go in here first. Okay. Nifre. It's definitely not Nifre. The Orlin hovers by the window, peering out of it every few seconds. As you enter the room, she watches you carefully, her hand hovering over her stiletto. She cranes her head but to peer behind you. Anyone follow you? Who sent you? Just attack immediately. Why can't I remember what Nifre's deal is? I'm here to avenge the murdered children of Defiance Bay. What did Nifre do? Oh man, I just thought this was something to do with the area and I completely forgot. And now I can't get out of this, can I? Rip. Okay. Heinous killings in Defiance Bay. Who did she kill? Children. Why can't I remember? Okay, well, never mind. We'll, uh, we need to check the journal and refresh my memory. Sorry about that. This is what happens when you don't play for a bit. Okay, well. What are you talking about? The man leaning against the wall glances out the door and nods to the Orlin. The hand over her weapon rela relaxes, but she's still watching you closely. Some old friends from Defiance Bay are looking for me. We're not exactly friends anymore if you catch my drift. I'm just trying to lie low and mind my own business. Know what I mean? Boss. And Amara looks at the Orlin and jerks his head at you. All right, all right. She raises her hand to the Amara before turning back to you. My friend here thinks you can maybe help us out. Now, I'm sure you're a busy man, so I'll make it worth your time. She flips you a few coins. Just go take a look around town. Come back and let me know if the coast is clear or if you see any suspicious figures. Of course. Yeah, no, it is the woman. It is the woman from the quest. I'm getting confused because it says Defiance Bay, but we didn't pick up the quest in Defiance Bay. It's the mercenaries who are looking for her. Right. Okay, well, I... <sighs> I'll report back if I find anyone skulking in a corner and cackling mani <laughs> maniacally. Sorry. Um, right, I think we're going to have to ask the question because I'm curious. Someone told me you were responsible for heinous killings in Defiance Bay. Let me guess. Was that someone named Medrith? She draws her stiletto. It's a lie, plain and simple. I got on the wrong side of his employers and now he's after me. If you're here to do his dirty work, I won't make it easy for you. Relax, I just want to hear your side of the story. What story? The Dominoes came after me. I just happened to rob the wrong place. How was I supposed to know they'd already claimed it? She runs her hands under her hood and through her hair. It was an honest mistake. I'm just trying to survive now. And if you spoke to Medrith, you know where he's waiting. Please, help me get out of here. Yeah, but we don't know what's right and wrong. Do we believe her or not? Weren't those guys at the, the river kind of jerks? Should we just help her escape? Why not? Just for giggles. We'll, 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 believe, we'll believe the best in her. What about that? So we're going to be honest. Go east. Medrith's waiting for you just west of the river. She nods slowly. All right, I'm trusting you. Don't have much choice. See if you can send him the other way. That should buy me some more time. She follows the hooded figures towards the stairs, giving you a final uncertain glance as she passes through the door. It's kind of weird because like, we don't even know anything about her. And then that's just the end of it. We've got to direct him away. All right, well, we're not going to steal. Let's go and talk to the... Uh... The Lord over here, or I know, does not have a guard with him. Questionable decision. All right then, you bugger. Ooh. I'll see what I can do. Yes, this is not stealing. I'll see what I can do. Bit of experience as well. Cool, cool. Very nice. Uh, we'll just check if there's any hidden stuff. I doubt it. Right. What are you doing up here? Unless, have you news of my daughter? I've got to get her out of this wretched village. He resumes his pacing. Right, well. Well. I found Alice. My daughter? Is her... Is she safe? I let her go. I can't be. She's... What happened? Okay. Hmm. You know exactly what I discovered? I should kill you for what you did. You can't get to her now, and that's what matters. I'll tell everyone what a monster you are. Didn't come here to talk. Pay up and get out of here. 
You know exactly what I discovered. I don't know what you're referring to, but I've heard enough already. Really, is that so? Take this, and let's put this unpleasantness behind us. Dumps a bag of coin into your hand. Go, uh, not so fast. If you're going to forfeit the pleasure of bearing a knife in your gut, I expect best compensation. Let's put this unpleasantness behind us. My thoughts, exactly. Your blow dispatches the old man more quickly than you'd like, but you're confident no one has heard you. You're also confident no one will ask too many questions when they find him dead. Piece of shit. Right. <laughs> Look, I know we're the good guys, but that was not a good guy. Amulet of Summer Solstice. Ooh. Grant Sunbeam, which we've seen on our, maybe on our Druid. It's like a blind. And uh, plus three DR to burn. That's interesting. Do we have who doesn't have a necklace? You all do. It's just a question. A question. Do we want? No, I'm not actually sure we need it. You know. Well, then again, you've got freeze DR bonus. I mean, would burn DR maybe be better? It's not that exciting either way, is it? Right. We took his clothes. That's awkward. Right. Okay. Let's leave. So are we are we about done then? And we need to we need to go find this farm for multiple reasons. I think we can walk out. We need to go and misdirect. Well, I guess we're just taking the side of of Nifre and we're gonna we're gonna hope for the best that they are not in fact a horrible murderer, which it's seeming like they might be. So let's go and lie. Now, this abandoned farm. I need to reread some stuff and just check. All right, where are you? Medrith. How do you do? Picks up a long blade of grass. Found it for yet. I'm ready to get out of here. Oh, I could I could be honest, but no, let, do you know what? We're going to lie. She snuck out the back of the inn and went north. He squints at you, pulling the grass into two flimsy threads. Did she now? And how would you have known that? Oh. Fair enough. I was just hoping you'd believe me. Medrith draws his blade. Don't worry. I'll catch up to her right after I take care of you. Well, that is stunning, isn't it? All right. Fair enough. So be it. More loot for me, lads. Let's get uh, Morning Stars out. Let's go and help ourselves to that cowed, cowed man. Not cowed. There is a boar. What a cute little piggy. Right. Who do we want to attack? Maybe the dwarf? Do you know what? Hey. Oh, that's unfortunate. We didn't manage to get where I wanted. Okay. Hit the, uh, hit the crowd, man. Attack the boar companion. Whoops. No, no, no. You can use that. Actually, no. Don't use that. You're going for the knockdown. You're going to try and get on this. There is a caster at the back. The dwarf. We've been knocked over. What a pain in the ass. Looks like he's coming for your booty. I wouldn't mind using this. Ready, watcher. Let's get some wood beetles out here. Please? Why are you not using it? Oh, I had to pick a place to use it. It's one per rest. I'm just going to use it, even though we don't really need it. Right, hold on. Should be going after you. Oh, hello. Medrith. Go get him. Go get him. Okay, great. Bit sweaty. Oh, level ups. Excellent. Oh, yes. Maybe we can get mechanics. Uh, fine great sword, fine stiletto, just generic stuff. I hope we've made the right decision. But based off the fact, <laughs> based, based off the fact he was quite happy to kill me, I feel like we might have made the correct decision. Sure. There were no prisoners there, were there? Right. Level ups then. We might as well do that first. Uh, oh, no, not exactly first. Okay, so the egg is at Deerford Crossing. Uh, 
we don't have a, a quest to go to the farm, do we? We were just told. I'm not 100% sure what. I'm sure. Did they say west? They must have said west. They didn't say. Unless you can go that way. Why have I done that? Does anyone know? <laughs> no, you, that just take the only way to go is to the crossing or back this way. Right? Surely it's at the, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should go back into the inn and check. Should we do? Okay, just quickly. Let me, let me just nip back inside. Because I'm dumb and I've forgotten. We'll do our level ups after we come out. I just want to double check what they said about the farm. Just so I know exactly where I'm supposed to go. Because the other... The forest... Is it a forest? You know what I mean. Over to the east. Feels like a really long way away for what we're talking about. Oh no, not you. Who was it I was talking to? Was it Sid? No. Was it... Oh, it was Dengler. It was Dengler. Well met, friend. Oh man, D questions about the ogre. His farm's southwest of here, Rumbold. Southwest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, 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 bye. Southwest. So it is southwest, like I thought. Okay, stop saying southwest. Calm. Take a breather. But where, where is, where is southwest? See, that makes you think, I mean, I guess, unless it's down, no, it's not down there, surely. But it makes you think it's at the Stormwall Gorge, doesn't it? Or it was like across here, but obviously it's not. To the throat. That stops him. What? What, what are we no. talking about, Arrows? I was spirit shifting. Oh, that's him there. So I aimed for the throat, but not with an arrow. I'm dumb. It's right here. We already saw him earlier. What a fool. Okay. A man paces angrily in front of the wrecked animal pen, his sun-weathered face twisted with ire. He's so wrapped up in his fury that he doesn't seem to notice you. Galloway and slobbering beast, blazing bloody effigy, thrice damned salty wench and a soggy. What's wrong? That monster stole my pigs, traipsed into the village, tore down my pen and made off with the whole damned herd. Just left a few little runts. And what am I supposed to do with them? Calm down and tell me what happened. He bites his lip and closes his eyes. His nostrils flare with each quick, angry breath. Wife's always telling me to mind my temper. Just breathe deep and count to ten, he sighs. An ogre moved into the area not long ago. Folk have been seeing glimpses and tracks out in the wood, but it seemed to be staying away from town. Well, so we all thought until it made off with my pigs. Now everyone's afraid it's going to develop a taste for kith if it hasn't already. Did you see the ogre take your pigs? What else would have destroyed my pen and made off with my herd? And at the same time, the rest of the village is seeing a ten-foot monster in the forest. He gives you an appraising look. I knew a few toughs like you during the Saints' War. Don't know... Oh, sorry. I know it's too late to get my pigs back. It set my mind at ease to see that thing's head shorn from its neck. In fact, you bring an ugly pate to me. Is it pate? What is this word? I don't know. And I'll trade you for something that's of, uh, of less use to a farmer like me than to a rowdy-looking sort like yourself. What do you know about the ogre? A mower. Okay. It's the same as any other, I'm sure. A big, ugly son of a bitch with a nasty temper and an appetite to match. Trigal could tell you more. He claims to have seen it in the wood. You can find him in his shop, right by the broken tower. Regardless, I'm sure it's nothing a big fellow like yourself couldn't handle. Wait, isn't Trigal the fucking... He's dead. <laughs> um... <laughs> He's, uh, he's dead. Yeah. Right, so this isn't the abandoned farm that I hoped it would be for whales, bloody scroll of whaliness. I just want to check there's nothing here. On the trail. Nothing hidden, nothing to grab, no. We've been around there. Okay, um, we did kill them, didn't we? I'm going to just hop in here to make sure that they haven't magically come back to life and can tell me about the ogre. But I'm pretty sure they're dead. And by pretty sure, I mean extremely sure that they're dead. Yeah, not looking good, is it?
Okay, well, it is what it is. So we've got to find the ogre on our own. Because they're dead. Where's the... Where is the... Farmer's Plight? Somewhere in the wilderness outside of Deerford Village. Is it an ogre we've already killed? I don't know. No, it probably would have prompted us if we had. Right. Listen. Have we unlocked this direction before we get carried away? Why are we stealthing? It's not at the gorge, is it? Maybe it's at the plains. It's plains, not forest. No shot. What's this way? There's nothing new. And that's the river. Okay. We need to go on a bit of a wonder. I assume that the... I mean, I remember like a burnt out farm. There's nothing at the gorge. It must be at the plains. Right? I'm going to go to the plains. I don't know. I just want to have a look because I am super, super unsure about where we're actually trying to say that this is. No, there isn't a farm here. Oh, tower's construction completed. Excellent. Should we just keep building stuff? Maybe even the library. Let's just build the library. It's fine. No, there's nothing here, is there? We went up there as well. There are some bandits up here. Oh, there is... Oh, maybe that is the abandoned farm. My bad. Didn't even see that. That is an abandoned farm, like, for sure. Let's come over here. Unsurprisingly, I can't remember a damn thing about what was here. Hello, boys. Venka. Right, well, please allow me to, uh... Not have any of this shit. If everyone could go ranged apart from you, that would be a fantastic start to the battle. Hmm. Oh my god, there's a bear and all sorts. Right. Why are you coming into melee? I thought you might be a caster. Alright, hold on. Aha. Why are you taking so much damage already? Are you good? I'm literally going to get you to use that straight away. We seem to be in control of things. Parable of whale. There you go. It's not whale. Yeah, it is now. Right. Ooh. 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 Okay, we'll take a look at that. Um, I'll have to put it away for now. There's the scroll. This ancient scroll is bound with silver thread. The broken wax seal is stamped with the shape of an eye. The scroll at first appears to be gibberish, a collection of symbols and characters with no apparent connection between them. As you study them, however, you could swear that the characters begin to move. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, they shift and crisscross and realign, and you are able to read the text. A simpleton seeks out a wise man said to know the answer to every question. Please, says the simpleton, you have to help me. The world terrifies me. I wake each morning and I don't know why I make choices each day, and I don't know what will happen as a result. I go to sleep each night, and I don't know whether it will be my last. When the simpleton finishes, he notices that the wise man is weeping. The simpleton apologizes profusely and asks the wise man what he is said to upset him. The wise man shakes his head and wipes the tears from his eyes. He answers, Some people have all the luck. Well said, well said. So obviously, essentially, this whole thing is saying ignorance is bliss. He doesn't know why 
why he makes choices. He doesn't know what's happening. The wise man does know what's happening, and it is a grim. Sun-touched mail of Hyren Wrath. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It has Sunbeam. Pretty sweaty slash DR. 45% recovery speed, though. It's not actually that good, is it? I think we'll leave that one for now. Um, and that's about it. We need to check the grimoire. Oh, oh, we picked up the scroll. As you take the scroll, you hear a voice. You have found it. Now lose it again. You fucking what, mate? I archivist Grimdor asked me to bring this back. A voice laughs. Why would you appear... Oh, would you appease a dwarf or a god? You think this left theft was an accident? The voice seems to shift, as if the speaker were constantly changing age, race, and sex. My relics were never meant to stay in one place for long. They are meant to be lost and found. It is the search that gives a thing value. Take it to the Black Meadow. Find the drake that faces east and bury it beneath its skull. Is that what we have to do? I mean, that's fine, but didn't we need something from Grimda? We needed to get in Grimba's back room. Grimba. Simba. We needed Simba's back room. No, Grimda's back room. We needed to go in there, didn't we? To find a book or some shit for the, um, for the other Animancer that was stood outside the Animancy place. Yeah, that's right. I have, I have a memory. My, my brain works. Okay, we've got way too many traps and we just, you know, like, what are we even doing here? That said, what if we need them? Well, do you know what we don't need? We actually don't need these in the inventory. Just not even, not even a little bit. We just put them away. And the lockpicks as well. Right, chaps, what are we doing? What, what are, what are we doing? What do we, what do we, what did we, what we do? What, what, what? What, what, what? Oh, we didn't level up. Dude, we didn't level up. We just came here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> People, uh, people are going to be raging about that. The grimoire. The grimoire. The grimoire. Got well distracted there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's just check this out. And then, then we'll level up. I know we should have done already. That's my bad. Uh, we've got loads of money. So let's just learn them. Slicken. Coats the ground in a slick oil-like substance. Inflicting knockdown on anyone in the area of effect. That's pretty good. Fleet feet. Empowers the target with a natural speed. Increasing their movement rate. Binding web. Okay. Yeah, AOE, just web. And mirrored image. Creates duplicate of the caster to distract enemies, granting a high deflection bonus, which is reduced with each, each hit taken. Very nice. Okay, right. Let's put that away. Let's do our level ups. No, we're not going to do our level ups. We're going to just check that again now. I don't... I don't really care about the god. I'm pretty tempted to deny the god. Black Meadow. Over there. Like, I don't want to do that, to be honest. I, I kind of want to... Because we need... As I said, we need this. Theorems of Pangram, which is in... The Archivist won't give her access. We need access. So I need to give the Archivist this stupid scroll. The god himself, herself, itself, doesn't want me to give them the scroll. But here's the thing. I don't I don't bow to gods, so <laughs> so much to do it anyway. Right, Brucor, my man. Six points left. Thoughts? Do we just get athletics? Probably. Upgrade second wind. Barbarian abilities, blooded. Lash out when in pain, granting a bonus to damage for as long as the endurance is below 50%. I mean that's good. Brute Force. Attack Fortitude instead of Deflection if Fortitude is lower. Wild Sprint. Movement Speed. Defense when disengaging. One stands alone. Oh, okay. If you're adjacent to multiple enemies, you do more damage and it takes more of them to flank you. That's more of a kind of having a Barbarian as a tank kind of thing, isn't it? 3 DR, I mean, that's just good. That's a great passive. Mere presence becomes so intimidating as to fill approaching enemies with nauseating dread. As long as the barbarian is stationary, nearby enemies may be sickened. I mean, yeah. Constant passive AoE against foes to sicken them. Fortitude and will reduced. All attributes reduced by one. That's pretty good. Bloodlust is a temporary attack speed bonus. 
temporarily once he or she has personally downed at least two enemies. I mean, isn't that a bit... After killing the enemy, the barbarian's recovery is waived, allowing them to attack in immediately. Ooh. Only after killing an enemy, though. How often do you get the kill? That's quite good, but I think I, I think I kind of want the threatening presence to give a, a passive sickening to enemies. Eder. Uh, maybe athletics for you as well. You do have nine points. I think that's what we do, just for the better thing. We'll save the three. We could get more lore, but I don't really, I don't really think we need to. Right, we could get a weapon specialization. Armor speed penalty reduction. That's kind of good. Recovery penalty reduction, but because he's wearing very heavy armor, obviously. So weapon specialization, probably going to leave that for now. Unbending. Draw strength from his own, his or her own indomitable spirit, causing him to regenerate 50%. Oh, three times per rest. 50% of damage taken converted to healing over time for 15 seconds. That's pretty good. Confident aim. 20% of grazes converted to hits, plus 20% minimum damage. Discipline barrage, accuracy for 15 seconds. Guardian stance. Lowers accuracy, but increases the deflection of nearby allies. That's kind of good. Don't know what mode. What mode are we in now? Let me just exit for a sec. Defender. Gives you. Oh, you can engage extra enemies. Hey. Yeah, I don't want you to have the other modal. I don't think. Do I? Like you have this, and you can engage more enemies. Although quite often you don't successfully engage them. But I think I still want that. So I'm not sure I want that. Clear out. Suits for fighters. Melee weapon in a large arc. Knocking enemies prone and causing crush damage. That's pretty good. Two per rest though. That's still pretty good. Into the fray. Lunges through battle. Pulling an enemy into immediate melee range. Two per encounter. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. That might be really good. It's only five meters, but that could be big. Overbearing guard. Disengagement attacks have increased accuracy damage and will knock enemies prone. Also good for when people try to run away from him. Fearless. Immunity to frightened and terrified. That's kind of good, although we often get paralyzed. I kind of like overbearing guard, and I kind of like into the fray. I think I'm going to give into the fray a go, because that sounds like a lot of fun. Hopefully it is. Right, Aloth. Lovely hat. So we need to change your hat. I don't like it. It looks... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why we still have it. Uh, mechanics. Yay! Level 8 mechanics. I wish we had more somehow. I can't, like, <laughs> lower others, can I? know? Right, so we can get a level 4 spell. Two, in fact. We can get two spells. We don't have to get two level 4s, but... Alright, confusion. Self-explanatory. Dimensional shift. Switches the location of the caster and one ally, leaving a shockwave between them that stuns all caught in the line of fire. That includes allies, presumably. Oh, I didn't mean to... You know, well, it doesn't matter, does it? Creates a ghostly double, causing shock damage to enemies hit by it. It's kind of, that's not bad. Flame shield. I mean, yeah, obviously enemies will be burned when they attack. Iron skin, DR until crit. No letters, concussive missiles. Crush damage missiles. Shockwave to foes close to the impact. That might be good. Minor arcane reflection. Spell reflection for 84 seconds. Only minor spell reflection. Up to three level spells. That that's actually pretty good, but you do have to cast it, obviously. If it was imagine if it was just like passive. <laughs> that would be disgusting. Minor grimoire imprint. Ooh. Gives the caster access to up to three free third or lower level spells from the target. Wizard can subsequently cast those spells an unlimited number of times for the duration. That's kind of cool. Wall of Flame. Fierce and vertical sheet of flame, inflicting burn damage to anyone moving through it. Wall of Aura. Black Sphere that draws all enemies towards it each time it pulses. Could actually be kind of good, that. Mara's Writhing Tentacles. Summon three tentacles. Cannot move, but inflict, can inflict... Crush and corrode damage and the struck affliction to anyone they hit. Yeah, but will they like hit my friends as well? I kind of like that and I kind of like the pull as well. What if we did Wall of Flame and the pull? Is that, is that a thing? 
That's probably a bit risky for my allies and stuff. Maybe we should just get concussive missiles. And maybe the tentacle. Should we do that? Concussive missile on the tentacle? I think I will. I think I'm happy with that. Now we're going to change your hat before I even do anything else. Why have I gone on that? Because it's triggering me at this point. I don't really ever look at it that closely, but I mean, look at it. Look at the state of that hat. Let's get that off. We could even leave you without a hat. I've been doing a lot of that stuff. We give you the cultist hood. <laughs> Maybe not. That's that one. I don't know. What would, what would we really have for you? It's, it's difficult to say, isn't it? I don't... I'm kind of... I mean, we could do this for the memes. Duelist's hat. No, I think I think we'll leave you hatless for the time being. I mean, that would be... <laughs> no, we'll leave you without hat. Right then. Uh, Hiravius, yes. With his bow out right now. Uh, I guess we're just getting kind of survival skills with you. May as well. More powerful bonuses. I mean, yeah. Should probably make you a bit more of an all-rounder, but... So actually saying that, saying that, saying that, saying that. What was your athletics? Zero. So I think we better pump a couple of points in there, maybe. In fact, maybe we ought to do that. Yeah. No. I want survival to be maxed first. <laughs> Sorry, I keep changing my mind. Let's do that, and then we'll just put one in athletics. Okay, class unlocked. Or is that it? We There's nothing else. Oh, we just get a bunch of spells for free. Boiling spray. Everyone in the cone area takes burn damage and is pushed back. Summons a jagged rock to stab upward in the, from the ground. Pierce damage, knocking them prone. Conjure blight. We've seen we've seen blight before, haven't we? Hailstorm. Savage storm of sleet and ice chunks, causing crush and freeze damage. This guy's insane. Moonwell. Channels lunar energy into a localized source of power, ge regenerating the endurance of allies in the area of effect, granting a minor bonus to all defenses. That's actually really cool. Overwhelming wave. Is that a tidal wave? It literally is a tidal wave. Crush damage. Wicked briars sprout thick, vorny, uh, vorny? thorny vines from the ground, causing pierce damage and hobbling any in the area of effect. Form of the Delimram. Allies gain a protective layer of wooden skin and are imbued with characteristics of blah, 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 becoming faster, less vulnerable to disengagement attacks and immune to the stuck affliction. Okay. Most excited about the heal. Yeah. To be honest. Um, the moon well. Right, what are we doing with you? What are we doing with you? You're very stealthy. We should really get some more mechanics on somebody else. Shouldn't we? Why don't we get the Grieving Mother some mechanics? It's a little bit out there, and I realise we should probably get Athletics, but we can't just keep... We're forced to keep Aloth in the party at the moment. It's a bit silly. But then, do I really want you to be an all-rounder? I kind of do. I th I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. Right, we can get a level 4 power. Two of them, actually. Body Attunement. Probes the mind and soul of the enemy target, finding the strengths of its defences and stealing them for his or her own. Drains a portion of the target's DR. Interesting. Mind Lance. Pierce damage? I'm here for it. Anyone in the line of attack with a high chance of causing an interrupt. Pain Block. Provides an ally with a mental block on his or her pain, granting a bonus to their damage reduction and regenerating endurance over time. I think I want that. Silent Scream. Psychic Howl in the targeted area, stunning the target as well as dealing raw damage to all enemies within. Alright, I like that more than Mind Lance so far. Wild Leech latches onto some characteristic of the target's psyche and drains it, granting the same amount as a bonus to the cipher. Thanks to random attributes. We can just steal an attribute. Going between. An ally superficially takes on the form of a spirit. Their movement is increased and many incoming crits, hits and grazes are converted to a less severe result. No, I like Pain Block and Silent Scream. I like that a lot. And then we've got Sagani. Come on down. Athletics. Maybe just grab a grab a point there. Pick up a penguin. Right, one ranger ability. Swift aim. Instant. Oh, a modal. Reduced accuracy, but more attack speed and and um, less. Well, faster reload speed. Yeah. Um, is that? Do we have a modal stance now? We're gonna have to cancel this to check. Ready, watcher. No, we don't have a modal stance right now. 
So that could be interesting. Defensive bond. I mean, AoE attack defense. That is actually kind of good. Accuracy when attacking the same target as companion. Ranged attacks bounce one time. That. I like that. Uh, I've got to admit, I like that. A lot, actually. Takedown. Ranger's animal rushes a target, knocking it prone. That could be really good. Arrow sense deflection against ranged attacks. Vicious aim. So, slower attack speed, slower reload speed, but more accuracy and more damage. Which is kind of fine. Heal companion. <sighs> Two prone... That's, that's actually kind of big, isn't it? That's actually kind of big. I did kind of think if we had some tankiness for Itumac, we'd take it. I really, really like Arrow Sense, though. No, not Arrow Sense. Um, driving Flight. Just for the bouncing arrows. But is it worth? No, it's too. I want it too much. No, we're, we're not going to be able to heal Itumac. He's just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> but he's going to die. He's just going to have to deal with it. To be honest, I rarely even get heals off anyway, do I? They want bouncing arrows. That's what that's what we're here for. Okay. Right. Right indeed. So we can go back to Grimda, because I don't think I'm gonna do what the god says. We've got to go and get the dragon egg. But I think I'd like to, honestly. Um I think I'd like to just go back to Grimda. We can go back for the Dragon Egg, obviously. But let's get back into Defiance Bay and kind of dip our toes back into some of the storylines that we were doing. Because uh, I was pretty pretty enthralled by these. All right, so let's go. We shouldn't have to do anything except go all the way up here. All right. I don't know why we're in single file. Just just because. Okay. Someone actually stole something from the hall? How'd they manage that? Uh-oh. Is that something we already knew about? Or because we left and because we completed this quest, have they actually had stuff change in here? That'd be crazy. Find the Elder Archives. All right, chill. Good day to you. Okay, no, nothing's changed there. Right, let's get off double speed. Let's go and chat to Grimda. We do want to go... Well, actually, can we, we just have a little looky in, in here? We could lockpick it, but there's a guy here, isn't there? Yeah. So I'm hoping you're going to let us in the archives if I give you this. That is the play. Greetings. Ever inquisitive, I see. Uh, I found... Oh... Oh, I didn't realise we could just ask about it, but no. Uh, well, maybe we should ask about that first. Animancer named Nedin asked me to retrieve the Theorems of Pangrim from the Elder Archives. Let's ask it. I'm not sure if I should, though, but I'm going to. Grimda's impressive frown deepens. Thank you for letting me know. I'll be sure to tuck that tome away from prying eyes and see that this Nedin never sets foot in here again. In the meantime, here, a token of our appreciation. Right, I shouldn't have fucking done that, should I? I found the scroll. Ah, let me see it. Grimda rubs her hands together. They sound like two sheets of dry parchment. She takes the scroll and turns it in her hands. Yes, indeed. Her fingers trace the paper with surprising gentleness. You've done well. She presents you with a folded section of fabric. Whale? It's not whale, by the way. We, we, it's still not whale. But whale is both a keeper and a discovery of secrets. May this hood aid you in revealing which the what is obscured and keep you hidden from those who wish you harm. Footpad's hood. You find a key in your palm. You are free to visit the Elder Archives and take whatever books or scrolls you find in the open. Spreading and circulating new mysteries is part of our service to the Obscured. Oh well. Right, footpads what now with who now? Stealth and perception. Now, perception, if we drop that onto him, doesn't that get him up to like a filthy... Gets him up to a filthy 13. That's fucking terrible. How... <laughs> who has the most perception? Oh, you do. Of course you do. Do I want to give that to you then? Maybe I do. 
Why don't we buff your perception up? Yeah. Well, that actually, you look kind of cool with it. It goes with your with your cloak as well. I'm here for it. Let's just check that's not like uh, having a stack problem. No. I think we're good, right? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, right. So we can go in there. The question is, can we get to that scroll since we just told her that? Or is that quest ruined? That's done. Brilliant. What was it called? Or was it one of these? No? Child of Dorrance? Oh, there it is. Oh. She rewarded me for my honesty. I think. Taxes collected. Got them. What's this? Oh, just that. Literally that, you idiot. Does this mean then that I'm not... Okay, first of all, close the door. So we're not allowed to steal. Queen that was and still is. Animancy in the modern age. The life and discoveries of Pangram. Isn't that the one that we're after? No, it's the theorems of Pangram. I kind of want to steal this and take it to her just in case it helps, but I don't think it's going to. Scroll of Valor, scroll. That's garbage. What, we came in here for that? Bro, are we going to steal for the first time? I don't think that's not what we want. I think we've literally just bungled that quest by, by telling her. Which is a bit of a feels bad, isn't it? I mean, we could reload, but I'm not going to. I'm going to steal this book. I'm not happy about it. Did we actually steal it? Maybe. Oh, Life and Discoveries of Pangram, yeah. I... Excuse me, I kind of think it's useless, but let's take it away. Let's go back to her, just before we end today's episode. Let's go back to her. I think it was a she, um, who wanted that and talk to her and tell her that we've literally just completely betrayed her by accident. It happens, like some things are unavoidable, you know? Right, hang on, where do we... we can go here, can't we? Right. We go to the first fires. But no, we must go to Brackenbury. And then we probably need to check our check our quests and stuff. I guess I'll leave it till next episode and then we'll know what we're doing. Because yes, we could go get the dragon egg, but we've got lots to do in here as well. Where are we? She was here, right? We've we've got lots to do in the city as well and we've got more to explore in the city so i'd kind of like to carry on with that i think for the time being was it this animal sir oh oh no whoever it was was here right they're gone they're straight up gone no 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 no. she had a name well you take the good you take the bad should we just see if they're inside i doubt it but let's well you know we're not going to start any other quests today Let's just have a quick look. But I bet they've just like despawned and we, we fucked up everything for them. Verna. Hey. Oops, not what I meant to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's downstairs. Demonstration was happening in here, right? Yeah. Well, sugar. We'll go we'll check downstairs. We still don't know what's in that box, and I'm so upset. Just just pointing that out. I'm still so upset that we don't know what's in the box down here. Such a shame. <laughs> Definitely bungled that quest a bit as well. This is somebody... Yeah, no. Nothing to report there. We still can't get in this. Need to find the key. Wait, hang on a minute. Who's in here? Didn't we kill you? Oh, no, we reloaded. Helig is dead for good. Oh, dude, let's have a long breath. Then I can rest easy. You've done a great service for Animancy, for the sanitarium, and for me. Thank you. Did we not come back after we killed him? I guess not. Glad to be of help. Farewell. So Good about things. this key. No, all right, fine. He doesn't... The, the, no. So, yeah, I think, I think that quest is officially bungled. 
We require the proper key. Nobody's in here. Can't go in there yet. All right. Fair enough, then. That is it for today. So we'll head out again. Obviously, we've got a whole bunch of ongoing quests. We've got Eda's quest. We've got um, Kana's quest. But Kana's quest is the endless path, so we don't have to worry about that too much just now. Um, we've got the Forgotten Heirloom Breastplate quest. So we've got like quite a few here in in Defiance Bay to do. And I'm probably going to keep pursuing some of those until we pick up a few more quests to go outside the walls. And then we can uh, then we can look at doing that and doing the dragon egg and stuff as well. So for today, everybody, for this week, that's all the time we have. So as always, thank you very much for joining me. Have yourself a fantastic day. Make the most of it. And I will see you in the next episode.